Here we have an image of a ladybug, which uh, I found on the internet. And what we're going to do is we're going to create um, multiple copies of this ladybug, but we're going to change the color of the shell. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, um, I'm going to create first a blue ladybug. So I'm going to go up to my shapes tool and click on my rectangle object. And right now I can go ahead and click on properties and make sure that my solid fill is on the fill effects. I'm just going to go find blue and I'm going to draw a blue rectangle. And it's got to be bigger than the um, ladybug itself. All right, now I'm going to click on the selection arrow. I want to keep this initial ladybug, so I'm just going to make a copy of it. So I'm going to click on the drop down options button and just say clone. Now there's a couple things I'm going to do here. I'm going to select that new clone ladybug. Now I'm going to right click on it or select my drop down options menu and select set picture transparency. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click in the area that I want to change the color of, in this case over the uh, orange red area. I also want to go ahead and click on the white border to make that transparent so we can see through it. So I have just a few clicks. It really doesn't take too long. Okay, there we have our transparent ladybug. Let me click OK. Notice that I can now see through the orange-red area. But if I drag it over my blue rectangle, since I can see through that area, I'm seeing through blue. And the rectangle is on the bottom and the ladybug is sitting on top of it. Now all I have to do is go up to the um, screen capture tool in the toolbar select it. I'm going to keep it on the same page, so I'm not going to select Capture New Page. I'm going to click on the Rectangle Selection Area, and now I'm just going to draw a rectangle around my new ladybug. And it's going to put it on my screen. It's a little bigger than the original image because my zoom level right now is um, not at 100%. So since my zoom level is higher, it made a, a bigger image. So I'm just going to click and drag the resize handle. Um, notice we have a blue uh, shaded ladybug, but we also have a blue area around it. All we need to do next is click on the drop down options menu, go to set picture transparency, and once again, click on the outside of the ladybug to make that transparent. And then you can resize it, make it any shape you want. Let's go ahead and do one more color. I'm going to click on the rectangle again and go to my properties tab. This time I'm going to make a yellow ladybug. So I click on yellow, click back in my workspace, click on the screen capture tool, select the rectangular capture area, and once again just take a screenshot all the way around my ladybug. I'm going to click and drag and resize it a little bit. And I'm going to click on the drop down options menu, go to set picture transparency, and click on the outside to make that transparent. Now I have a yellow ladybug. And one thing I can do here is I can click on the drop down options menu. I can go to flip and let's go ahead and flip it left to right. So he's just kind of pointing a different way. And let me go ahead and select these other objects. And lo and behold, I now have three colored um, ladybugs using the same image. And we did this by using the transparency setting for the images.